everyone, I'm John McElroy, your host with the Florida Aviation Network. We are broadcasting live and in the clear from the terminal building here at Sebring Airport during the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo 2018, where we are flying into the future. And it is my pleasure to have our next guest. It's Ed Kaminsky. Kaminsky. Pardon me. I always That's get in. <laughs> Ed, how are you? I'm good, John. Thanks, how are man. you? I appreciate you recovering with me on that one. Not a problem. It's, it's like not the first time. It's like flight training, right? You run into a little burble and everybody goes, <gasps> Yeah. Good. Thanks for backing me up. But uh, it's nice to have you with us. Welcome. Thank you. Glad to be here. So it's been a great year for you this past uh, 12 months. You have really been uh, nailing down a couple of uh, things. And let me start with Flight Instructor of the Year. Well, thank you. How about that? Flight Training Professionals is your company. Yes. And you're located? Orlando Executive Airport on the uh, Atlantic Terminal Ramp. That's right. And tell me about your flight school. Not, not everybody knows you like I do. And, and uh, so I love going over by that mural and walking around the corner and into those doors because I know you're back there having a good time training pilots for tomorrow. Well, that's exactly right. We, uh, we do like to have a good time at Flight Training Professionals. We want to help our customers enjoy the learning process of learning to fly. And that's really what kind of keep, kept me in the business doing that. You know, we've been uh, operating now for coming up on 12 years. I've been actually teaching people for 32 years. Um, wow. And so it is uh, the joy of helping that person, you know, make that first solo flight. It still, you know, gets me today. And I, I love it. Absolutely love it. How many pilots flying now would say, I can still hear Ed to this day? <laughs> what do you think that number is? Do you know? I'm sure there the number is uh, <clears throat> in the hundreds, maybe not the thousands. But, uh, uh, yeah, there, there are quite a few out there screaming, having nightmares that they hear my voice. Tell me about your instructor. Who was that? Your well, primary. Oh, boy. Milt Hartenbauer. Milt. Okay, ex Air Force Lieutenant Colonel, and uh, fighter pilot in Korea, and test pilot. You know, kind of one of those those back when when ships were made out of wood and men were made out of steel kind of guys. Love it, love it, and you can picture him and, and to this day, can't you? Well, that's how you are for those guys uh, out there. Yeah, except I don't smoke Lucky Strikes in the airplane. Did he roll up the sectional and beat you over the head with it? You know, when... no, 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 he didn't believe. Oh, in that, well, okay, so that, so was, he, that was a good experience. It was, it was soft but tough love. Yes, <laughs> that's great. Firm but fair. And I know that you bring that to the table when when it comes to training, and so. Uh, your flight school has been really uh, uh, having a great banner year, hasn't it? Yeah, yeah. yeah. We we won the uh, AOPA uh, Flight Training Excellence Award in 2016, best flight school in the country, competing against about 800 other schools. Amazing. Yeah. Very what? proud of that one because that one is based on our customers' feedback. What That's an what makes me very happy about that award. No doubt. And, you know, everybody that I talk to uh, would agree. Also, you know, I get your guys when they come over to the uh, the light sport and the amphib side of things. And I say, well, who did you get your flight training with? And, you know, when they say flight training professionals, then I know a little bit about who they've been working with and, and your team. So tell us a little bit about your team. Who are those guys backing well, you up? Um, obviously, the, the number one back of is my business partner, Keith Weinsma. Uh, he and I have been uh, started the company 12 years ago together and actually have known each other for uh, about 20 years now. We met up at uh, what was then Comair Academy and, and worked a couple projects together while he was at Comair Airlines. And, and uh, he runs the maintenance side of the business and makes sure that the airplanes are ready to go. And the finance side, I take care of the flight operations and training. Then, you know, my two rocks are... Um, Maggie Broman and Evan Pickle. Um, Maggie's been with me six years. Evan's been with me for five years. Um, absolutely consummate professionals, and they're career instructors like myself. They're not moving on to the airline. Um, then I just uh, have a great staff. Uh, in addition to them, we're up to seven full-time instructors, about to go to eight, um, ranging from various. I got a couple Emory Riddle grads. Uh, we actually have a couple that have come through our program, start to finish, as uh, Wow. as professional pilot. So from zero to hero and then on to instructor in at the same flight school, that's uh, kind of uh, unheard of on a private side of things. You see yeah. that in 141 a lot, yeah. but uh, that's neat. Well, you know, you obviously have a, a, a great team, and I love that, that you've got that solid foundation of people who have been around a little while. People don't realize that, you know, uh, the training side of things, you can be a pilot and go to the airlines and do that whole thing, but flight training is where it's at. You know, that whole thing 
is a, is a market that can support you and you can have a daily life and, you know, do just as well. It's been well, that way, hasn't it? Yeah, absolutely. I uh, had the honor of being able to go to every scouting event with my son uh, while he was growing up, uh, baseball games. That's why I did it. I mean, I get a charge out of seeing people learn how to fly and I was able to be home for my family. Well, you know, training sings to some people. That's certainly what happened to me. I, I did the airline thing too and uh, went into training, but you know, I, I was in the training department. I keep gravitating back towards mentorship. Yep. And you know, we've been hearing that theme over and over again with uh, uh, mentors. And um, I know that that's true. It, it's like a theme with what you guys do. You, you talked about it when we first started uh, speaking about your company and you know, how, how does that play through when you're you know, with your staff? How does it show up that they're, they're mentors in this? Well, one thing when we're doing the selection of the staff, when we're, when we're looking at hiring somebody, we're talking about to them about, you know, getting involved with their customers more so than just climbing in the airplane with them. It's, it's a total education package. You're their, their resource. We call it, you know, our, our business is, is our customer's aviation home. We want them to feel like when they walk through the door that it's home. So we encourage the staff to treat them like that, you know, welcome them when they come in and uh, make sure they feel comfortable. And I think they do. So uh, you, you get this uh, uh, group of students that are coming through that program, and uh, how many of those go from private into instrument and then commercial? What would what would you say is the the uh, percentage? Are are half of them continuing on, or how does that grow for you? Our majority of our customers are not the professional pilots. Probably. 30% of our customer base are people who are looking to be professional pilots. The other 70% are, are professional uh, individuals uh, from business around the area, and business people and, and, and women and, and, just... and salesmen, and they, they, they want to either learn to fly and make it part of their business or just want to get out and fly around Florida. Tell me about your fleet. What kind of flying and uh, are they doing? We're we're, uh, we're up to um, what nine aircraft now. We've got five one seventy twos, all G one thousand. We have um, wow. Just added another one last week, um, and uh, two Skycatchers, uh, Cessna one sixty twos, a Piper Archer, and uh, the uh, the Duchess. Uh, excuse me, the uh, Cirrus. And then we lease uh, temporarily uh, Arrow and a Duchess. So technically we're we're probably at 11. Great, so you're able to do uh, multi-engine training. Multi-engine training yeah. and, and commercial training, CFI training. We're finding out flight instructor training is becoming a little niche for us because we have such a good success rate when they go for the for the flight test. People are realizing they need more to succeed at that the first time. Definitely. It's not an easy rating. A lot of people would think that it, it is, but um, you you guys make it easy. So We well, try to. <laughs> What um, what are your plans for 2018? How's it going here at the expo for you? What, what's going on here, and then moving forward, what's uh, what's in your future? Well, here at the expo, I'm I'm doing a couple things. I'm I'm looking at avionics packages um, now that you can put some what used to be only for light sport and experimental avionics into into a certified airplane. So we're looking for options there uh, because we have a challenge with the, our light sport airplane, the Skycatcher, being discontinued in production and getting parts for it so we're, we're thinking we have to have a replacement isn't and, that amazing and yeah so that's also what i'm here looking at well and then for 2018 as a as the business and the flight school moves forward are you looking for other airplanes or you know bringing on more staff how's that looking for you what are your well, plans well i'm i'm interviewing the soon to be eighth full-time instructor Great. next week and uh like i say we just added the one airplane we're already looking for uh an additional 172 that seems to be our busiest aircraft well, you know, I always uh, like coming around your flight school. I walk in the door. Everybody's friendly. Uh, the airplanes are always uh, available. You know, I, I have a lot of options when I'm, uh, uh, you know, walking in the, into your business. So I'm a fan. So Thank you. Well Appreciate done, it. You know, and I, I've been around. I've seen I was a told a long time ago to make a business successful, you need to make raving fans. And that's what we try to do. Boy, I'm one of them. And uh, so and I intend to stay that way. Well, we are just wrapping up our, our talk here. It's been uh, really uh, quite short but quick, And uh, but thanks for being with us. I appreciate Thank it. Thank you for having me. Yeah, you bet. Well, that's it from uh, uh, Sebring here with Ed Comiskey for Flight Training Professionals. My name is John McElroy. I'm your host for the Florida Aviation Network. We're going to wrap it up for this interview. We're broadcasting live from the terminal building at Sebring Airport for the U.S. Sport Aviation Expo 2018. We will see you with our next guest.